Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with an extra video this week. Um, okay, so this is about ribbons. If you have, like me, loads of ribbons, I want to show you a beautiful way you can make some little gifts or something for yourself with them. I made these in a swap a couple of times and I've been asked if I would show people how I make them. So this is what they are. They are sort of ribbon um keychains whatever you want to call them and they're beautiful and they're so easy to make so i'm going to show you how you can do them um so in terms of what you need obviously ribbon you use whatever ribbons you like you will need this helps is just a needle and thread um you're just going to stitch them together to stop them moving you will need some kind of um, beads whatever beads you may have now these will they need to have a, a decent hole because you're going to have to get one of the ribbons through them um, I just use this to put mine on and if you want to have any of the little decorating pieces you can attach like I have on this one I've put this little one on and you will also need a jump ring maybe it's two it depends if you're going to have extra things hanging on them <clears throat> something to sort the ends of the ribbon out to stop them from fraying so they really are dead easy to make so pick your ribbons um so i just kind of measure them all off the same i don't really measure it in terms but i think this so i will measure this for you um where's the ruler so i've cut mine to 11 inches in length and just keep cutting the ribbons Right, so I've cut my ribbon. Now, you will need, if you can, a small skinny piece. This is probably only, what is it? It's three mil wide, this one. Or it could maybe even be some twine or some thread. I don't know, just something small and like something really thin. So what you're going to do, take... A jump ring and you're not going to open it or anything but you're going to slot this ribbon through the jump ring so it's just like that okay and then you are going to take one of your beads I normally one of these like little pickup things helps or some kind of little porky tool or something and all you're going to do is you're going to get this ribbon in here now this one is a silicon bead so the easier because obviously the more pliable aren't they so just keep pushing that ribbon through and there we go straight out if the other bit hasn't come through just keep pushing it there it is there and you're going to pull that right to the top so you should have that and then again just slot your beads now you can have as many as you want I normally put three but I suppose if you wanted to make a smaller one you could maybe just use two or, or one even it, it's up to you I'm just going to trim that a little bit this one is like an acrylic bead but the hole is quite big so hopefully it will go through there we go 
And then the last one I've got is another silicon bead, which is easier. Right, that's what you should have and you should have a decent bit left over which it's important. Sort your ribbon. Um, I think I've laid most of mine so you just want to pile it on top of each other as neatly as you can because all we're going to do with that needle and thread is just put a little stitch in the middle just to stop it from moving about that's all nothing else really so that's why you want to try and get these neat on top of each other so needle and thread and I'm just going to sort of guesstimate the middle And this is just to hold them together. So when you tie them, you're not, you know, they're not moving around. You're not going to see it, so don't worry about it having to be perfect as long as it keeps these together. And then just tie that off a bit. That's that done. Then you're going to take this. What you want to do is you want to get... Now what I do is I tend to do it upside down. So you want your ribbon upside down. And then I tie, I get it roughly in the middle where the stitching is. And you want to tie these in to here. Yep, you want to tie it pretty tight. And then I tie it again. And when you flip it over, You can adjust them how you want them. Press them down a bit. And you can... I'll just leave them sort of hanging. And then what I do is I've got some of this eyelash trim. I love this stuff. And I'll just cut some off and then I tie it just like that under the first bead. So I have a piece here and then I tie it round the other side as well because you, you're never really going to get your needle and thread to sew through this because it's just too fine so is basically it. As I said you can fiddle about with these, move them around a bit and then I just sort of trim them now the way I want them. That is basically it. And then I just take the little heat thing. Obviously don't do it to the eyelash trim because it'll probably just frazzle and burn. And just set these edges a bit, you know, so they don't fray.
and that's it and then obviously you can add whatever you want so I've just got a couple well no I've got one little got another little jump ring and I'm just going to put it when I've got my keychain ready for the keychain I've just got another little charm here and I'm going to put that through there let's close it doesn't want to hold does it close this off And then now I can put this onto here. There we go. So easy to do. But they are so pretty. They make beautiful little gifts. Like I say, I like to put these in my swaps. Of course, you can have the ribbon any length you want. This one's a little bit longer. But yes, give it a try. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.